What is going on everybody? It is Glenn Tupper and I've got a new video for you guys today. Today is a project video. All right, so with my van, I have been wanting to put a platform on top of my van, my Sprinter van. It is a 2008 Dodge Sprinter. And I have been thinking of all of these different ways to build a platform on top of the van so I can hang out go up there, enjoy the view, what have you. Um, I, I came across a YouTube video where some guy, he built a platform out of uh, plastic pallets that he found. So I started thinking, plastic pallets, where can I find those? I see them behind Walmart, but I don't want to take them because that's stealing, okay? So I don't know where this guy in this video got his free plastic pallets, so I started brainstorming okay what could i use that's similar to a plastic pallet or a pallet and i started googling and then all of a sudden the other day i found a solution and you are going to think i'm crazy but today in this video we are going to break this thing down and i am going to attempt to put it on top of my van as a platform and i think that i've come up with an ingenious solution to this problem without, you know, buying wood and bolting it down as planks. This is a simple solution and I think you're gonna like it. So, what is the solution you might ask? Well, it's been right behind me this whole time. It is a platform truck got these wheels on it it's made out of aluminum and I think I don't know yet but I think this is gonna be a great idea and I'll tell you why okay this thing weighs 40.7 pounds with the wheels attached to it I'm gonna take the wheels off but what's cool about this thing is that is that once it's my plan is once it's bolted up onto the top of the van, it's got automatic, it's got this uh, handle right here. And what I'm gonna try to do is make the handle so it goes back a little bit. All right, I've got two of these and I bought them from Northern Tool, the cheapest I could find them. And if you think about it, one of these, two of these, all right, it's probably cheaper than all the tools, all the equipment, and the hardware that you're gonna buy trying to build your own platform. Solid. This thing, I'll be able to get up there and hang out, backrest, chill, you know. Maybe I might leave it just how it is, you know. Uh, I was thinking, that, you know, using the top of the van, sun bathing, but wow, when you're done, you're standing up on top of this thing, push that down, folds in place, locks in place. I don't know. So this is just an experiment. We're gonna try it out and I'll let you guys know what the results are. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start taking off the wheel assemblies and then I'm gonna weigh it and I'll tell you guys how much it weighs. So let's get started with that. All right, so as you can see, I've got all the wheel assemblies taken off and we're gonna go ahead and see how much, how much this thing weighs. Twenty-seven pounds. All right. So times two. Fifty-four pounds for the whole thing up top. So I think that's not bad. Um, now that I got this taken up, uh, now that I have the wheels taken off the bottom, it does have uh, pre-drilled holes in the bottom. So what I think I'm going to be able to do. Well, on my cross beam sections that go across on top of the van, I think I'm gonna have to drill a hole. 
That way I can put a bolt up through and in to these pre, these already tapped dr uh, um, drill holes, okay? All right, so I've got all the wheels off and I took down one of the crossbar sections. So what I'm gonna do now is line up the holes and I've got the bolts that are gonna go through the bottom up into the platform like this. So what I'm planning is that the, I'm gonna cut a hole or drill a hole in the bottom of this cross section. That's gonna go in here and then I'll be able to tighten it down on the crossbar section. Okay, so I'm gonna do one, two, three, four holes through this aluminum and then take it out, put it back up on top of the van. All right, so now I've got both cross beams bolted to the bottom. And now I gotta figure out how I'm gonna get this thing on top of the van. I was thinking I was gonna do it bolted in piece by piece on top of the van, but I think it was gonna be too hard to bolt, bolt it to the cross beams and I had to measure specifically, so let's see what I can come up with. All right, so I got the platform up there. It was very, very difficult. I had to think outside the box. I used these straps. I put it right here and I basically drug it up the ladder and put it in place. So it is up there right now. You can barely see it, but let's head up there and I'm gonna give you a tour of my new game changer rooftop deck. So let's head up there. All right, so here it is. Rooftop deck. I'm gonna show you how it works. Thinking outside the box. So these just come up like that. And now you have got a nice backrest, headrest to chill, hang out. Man, this is a, I mean, this took me a couple hours to do, nice and sturdy. And I don't think anybody else has thought about using uh, some truck dollies for a rooftop deck. So if you want to try it, it's easy. Uh, look at this. Woo! Yeah. I hope you, I uh, hope this helped you out a little bit. Um, I think it's better than a plastic uh, pallet <laughs> and it comes already installed with a backrest so you can come up here and chill next to the beach camping on your adventures and also storage so can't wait to use this can't wait to get on, get on the road and test this out in action out in the wild uh, if you like this video hit that like button hit that subscribe button share this video until next time, peace.